A deadly shooting at a Colorado Springs nightclub. Police are asking for the public's help in tracking down everyone involved, and the shooter could still be on the run. Good evening, I'm Tony Keith. Thanks for joining us. We'll get to the Colorado Springs shooting in a bit, but first, we've got an 11 breaking news alert. At least 19 people are dead and 40 more injured when a gunman opened fire at a shopping center in El Paso, Texas. Police have a 21-year-old man in custody. These surveillance photos show the alleged shooter moments before the attack at the Walmart Supercenter. There was a back to school event going on at the Walmart at the time. Officers say the store was at full capacity. Some of uh, the other employees, they were coming in and they would they would tell me that they heard some gunshots and people just started bolting straight into the store uh, in order to get get to cover. Authorities are looking into a manifesto allegedly written by the shooter and say they are treating it very seriously. They add it describes the motivation behind the shooting targeting Hispanic immigrants in Texas. Well, now we turn to our no wait weather with meteorologist Lucy Bergman and Lucy tracking a few Tony. All right, well, Lucy, uh, we are going to get to the Colorado Springs shooting in just a bit. But first, it sounds like we got some breaking news regarding the mass shooting in Texas. I believe we can take a listen in. Usually go shopping. Turned into one of the most deadly days in the history of Texas. Lives were taken who should still be with us today. 20 innocent people from El Paso have lost their lives and more than two dozen more are injured. We as a state unite in support of these victims and their family members. We want to do all we can to help them, to assist them. We pray that God can be with those who've been harmed in any way and bind up their wounds. We want to express incredible gratitude for all the law enforcement and the swift response that they took to minimize the loss of life by directly confronting the shooter, getting him to disarm himself and be able to arrest him. We could not have done this without the effective law enforcement activities of the El Paso Police Department, uh, by the Texas Rangers, uh, by state, federal, and local law enforcement working collaboratively, collaboratively the way law enforcement does work, making sure that swift justice would be achieved. I want the city of El Paso to know and the El Paso Police Department and everybody in this entire community know that the state of Texas provides its full support for this community and their efforts to rebuild. For the country that I know has been paying a lot of attention to this, asking what they can do, I ask that you keep El Pasoans in your prayers. We know the power of prayer and the power that you can have by using that prayer. For every mom and dad, for every son and daughter, we ask that you put your arms around your family members tonight and give them a hug. So again, that was Governor Greg Abbott for Texas in regards to the El Paso shooting that left at least 19 dead, uh, more than two dozen injured. He just said he wanted to thank law enforcement for their swift action in confronting the gunman and is also asking for prayers from the rest of the country. Well, we'll of course update you throughout the night on that story and at 11 News at 10. Turning back to Colorado now, a woman is dead after an early morning shooting outside of a Colorado Springs nightclub. Police are still investigating what exactly led up to shots being fired. This happened at the Social Club off Academy and Carefree. 11 News reporter Danielle Kreuter has the latest. Tony, so far police have not released any information about a possible suspect. They do say they have not been able to identify all of the people involved. Crime scene tape and evidence markers could be seen well into this afternoon at the parking lot right outside of the social nightclub. The investigation started hours before when shots broke out before 2 a.m. A woman was shot and killed. Two other men were shot. One is in critical condition. The other is expected to recover. It's honestly kind of scary because, I mean, we are just across the street. Andrew Ramirez works at a barber shop not far from the club. I just seen cops blocking off streets, tape everywhere. Uh, 
li little little markers here and there. I'm like, dang, it's a mess. Officers say right now there is no danger to the public. Right now, the identities of the victims have not been released. Tony. Well, thank you, Daniel. As always, if you have any information about this shooting, get in touch with Crime Stoppers. You can remain anonymous. Just call the number on your screen there, 634-STOP. Well, this is new today. Colorado Springs police are investigating a second bank robbery in just two days. The Chase Bank near North Academy Boulevard in Montebello Drive was robbed just before 2 p.m. today. Police could only describe the suspect as a white man in his 30s. Yesterday, officers were called to a bank near Briargate Boulevard in Union. Now it isn't clear how much money was taken and the suspect's still on the run. We don't know if the two crimes are connected. The two banks are about four miles away from each other. Well, rescuers worked overnight to try and find everyone trapped in a deadly cliff collapse. We'll tell you how many people emergency crews were able to get out of the rubble and why experts are saying it's amazing that anyone was even able to survive. Plus, we're learning more about what led up to someone falling out of a moving car closing a Colorado Springs road last night. We'll be right back. You're watching KKTV. This is happening right now. A teenager facing charges claiming he accidentally shot one of his friends. This happened in Pueblo overnight. Police say a man admitted that he was drinking with a couple of his friends and they were playing with a gun. The weapon was accidentally fired. It looked like the victim's back and arm had been grazed by a bullet. The weapon has been turned over to police and they add that the shooter is a juvenile and he will likely face charges related to the use of guns and alcohol. A Colorado cyclist is dead after being hit by a semi truck. The crash happened just before 5 p.m. yesterday along Highway 50 in Lamar. That's near the Kansas border. Police say it's not clear what caused the crash. The identity of the man that was killed has not been released, but multiple people tell me he was well known and loved in the community. We will continue to update you as we learn more on this story. Well, we've got an update to an 11 breaking news alert that we brought you last night. A person has been arrested facing DUI charges. This was the scene last night at Brookside and 8th Street at about 9. Police say 46-year-old Chandra Lovett was driving slow when a passenger opened the door, then fell out. The passenger was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Lovett's been arrested and charged with DUI. We've got new details on a deadly cliff collapse. San Diego authorities say that one woman was killed, one person was flown to the hospital, two others were taken by ambulance, and another refused medical it's a clock and Tony. I'm also really excited to see that induction ceremony. It's going to be great to see uh, both those guys getting their oh, calls. Definitely, but back to those Rockies. You're saying there's a chance. That's what I heard. There's that's, always that's, chance. It's baseball, man. There's always a chance. That's Anything all can I heard. That's the way it well, does. Hey, thank you, Robbie. If you guys avoided social media in the news yesterday, what? <laughs> check out this moment. We shared this video of a Longhorn on the loose in downtown Colorado Springs. It's been viewed more than 1 million times on our Facebook page. A Longhorn got loose from a cattle drive, then ran to the plaza of the Rockies building. Some cowboys who were nearby went right up to the door of the building where they were able to wrangle the cow in. I have a good horse. I knew I had a good cowboy with me and we just figured it out. The cowboys add that the Longhorn is fine. She just had a scraped knee. No one was hurt during the wild chase. On a more serious note, we've got an 11 breaking news update now. The death toll is rising. Texas officials say 20 people are dead and 26 hurt in a deadly shooting at a Walmart in El Paso, Texas. Now, police have a 21 year old man in custody. Authorities are looking into a manifesto allegedly written by the shooter and say that they are treating that very seriously. They say it describes the motivation behind the shooting targeting Hispanic immigrants in Texas. Again, guys, I mean, we've all been paying attention to that news story here in the newsroom. Uh, it's just going to have an impact across the country. We'll, of course, have updates with you throughout the night on KKTV.com and at 11 News at 10. But, Lucy, before we go, one final look at weather. Yeah, because we are tracking a few stronger storms, especially west of I-25 right now in western Fremont County over the foothills. But we are going to watch those storms as they continue to slowly push south. A lot of frequent lightning and heavy rain that is going to approach the Hayden Pass burn scar. So I've got my eye on that for debris flow tonight. All right, stay safe out there. Thank you so much for joining us. Again, we'll see you tonight at 10. KKTV 11 News is your breaking news leader, and we're always on at KKTV.com.